today's project diary I will teach you how to grow cuttings from flowers. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to take cuttings from flowers. Now these are dahlias and as you know they're one of my favourite flowers. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is take uh, lots of the stems off the bottom uh, in order to replicate this exact bloom. Um, now you may have seen some of my earlier videos where I've, I've grown dahlias from seed um, but you're never guaranteed to figure out what sort of uh, size head it's going to have, what colour it's going to be. It's more of a potluck when you grow from seed. Um, so actually taking cuttings will give you uh, the exact clone of this same flower. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now before you take any cuttings make sure that the plant is really healthy and was watered really well the night before. Now with most flowers you can take a young cutting from anywhere on the plant as long as it's four to six inches but as you can see on this one you can actually take the cutting from the tuber itself as low as possible. Now there is a little shoulder that you can just get your knife in and it should pop if you hit the sweet spot. I'm also going completely against the main rule is making sure that your knife or your scissors are completely clean. Now unfortunately I left this knife out in the rain so it's really rusty but you can just boil it and get rid of all the bacteria. Now once you've taken your cut in you just need to trim it down. Now what you need to do is if it's flowering you just need to cut those flowers off because you don't want any of the cuttings energy going into the flower. These white lines and where the leaf branches come out from the stem, they're called nodes. So you want to get around four to five nodes per cutting. This should maximize the success of the roots coming through and being a healthy plant. You also want to trim off any of the really big leaves or any of the large branches. You do want to keep a couple of leaves and branches on because of the photosynthesis from the sun will help the plant grow. I've also just seen a little bud here so I need to pinch that out so it doesn't form into a flower. The reason why you don't want any big leaves on there is because you don't want any more energy going into those either. You want it all to go into the new root system and any of the smaller leaves. So there you go, there's three to four little branches with some really nice leaves on there uh, and it's all been trimmed nicely. So I just need to take it into the shed and show you the next stage. The next stage is to find yourself a pot to grow it in. I'm going to use an old yoghurt pot and make sure there's some really good drainage holes in the bottom as usual. Uh, I'm also going to use a really nice loose potting mix. You can add perlite if you want to, I just wouldn't use anything too heavy because you want a new root system to branch out and breathe easy. This next step is completely optional, I'm going to use a hormone powder but this should help with the success of your cuttings. Now if you're aware of spreading any diseases, I'd pour a small amount of this powder in another pot just in case it does spread around but uh, I, I think I'm going to be fine here so I'm just going to dip it straight in the pot. Now don't push this straight in, use your small finger uh, and dig a hole about two or three inches deep. Uh, this will make sure that the powder stays at the bottom and helps the root system uh, and doesn't leave as you push the cutting into the soil. The next thing you want to do is just push the soil in deep enough so the cutting stands up properly but don't push it down too deep because you still want it to breathe and uh, not be packed down too much. Now most cuttings will take between three and six weeks to grow a really good strong root system so be patient when growing these. And there you go. Uh, all that's left to do now is just water it in. Now just give it a really good soak the first time but you don't want to get it too wet over the next few days because you'll end up rotting the stem and it won't grow any roots at all. So after you've taken the cuttings and put them in the hormone powder um, and, and left them for a few days what will happen is they will wilt. Um, now they look like they're dead but um, these are just going into some sort of um, recovery mode. Um, so what it's trying to do is just trying to build some roots and taking um, all the nutrients out of the leaves. Um, so it will stay like this for at least another week, maybe two. Um, if the leaves start going yellow and it all starts drying and going a bit wrinkly, then it is, it is dead and you have, probably haven't done it correctly. But um, if it stays green and just a bit like this, uh, just leave it for a week or so. 
keep watering it. Um, don't make it too damp. Don't make it too dry. Uh, just as long as the soil's dark and not shiny, you should be all right. Um, and then a few weeks after that, uh, which is the best example. I did try it with lots of different sizes. As you can see, people usually say just take the smallest, youngest um, cutting. But this one, this had loads of big leaves at the top like you can see here. They've all stayed green and there's loads of new sprouts coming at the bottom. So this is taken really well, even though the cutting was huge. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it um, like this. So it seems to be going quite well. Um, and this one as well, the leaves did go um, slightly yellow and looked like they were dying so I just cut them off um, and it's it's sprouting new new leaves so this is going really well um, so what I'm going to do um, is just keep doing these updates and hopefully um, I'll show you when they start getting a little bit bigger but um, that's how you take a cutting from flowers um, I hope that's helped you this should work with a majority of other flowers um, it's slightly more complicated with roses, but hopefully I can get around to doing that video soon. But uh, there you go. Good luck cutting your own, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, don't forget to subscribe now. If you've been inspired by this video or tried any of my previous videos at home, I'd love to see your progress, so please post them on my Facebook group in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.